morning everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for tuning in you might not be able to see me very well or even hear me but uh, we are here at work it is a, a, it's between half past three and quarter to four I'm not entirely sure exactly what time it is there's our truck we got a flatbed trailer on today and uh, we're gonna be making our way up to some place called Skemmersdale which is up past Liverpool area so that'd be fun that's our truck. We've got to go pick up a couple of porter cabins. Take them all the way down to Exmouth. Go back up again to Skemmersdale. Pick up another couple. And then take them back down to Exmouth as well. So I think all in all it's about a thousand miles. So that should be fun. And uh, a couple of days work easy. But there she is. Let's uh, get our checks done. And crack on with the day. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. You probably can't see me because it is so dark outside, so I do apologise, but we are uh, on our way, we're leaving the yard, it's four o'clock in the morning, it's pretty dark out. Let's put our full beam on, look, you might be able to see a bit better. Um, yeah, it's four o'clock in the morning, it's pretty dark out, but it's still quite warm, like, I left the house this morning, about quarter past three, and it was 14 degrees outside at quarter past three in the morning 14 degrees i'm actually in t-shirt and shorts and i have been all morning so far so that's good yeah we're um we're doing a little bit of a road trip we're going to be away for a couple of days maybe a couple of nights come back on the third day we'll have to wait and see we're doing something a little bit different to to normal we're not not doing bags we are doing porter cabins today if you uh if you watch, if you've liked my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Luke Scene HTV, um, I already posted on there what I was going to be doing today and now I was going to be vlogging. So go over and like my page if you want to be up to date with the most recent stuff. But yeah, we've got to go to some place called Skemmersdale, which is up past Liverpool, collect a couple of port containers, come back down to um, some place near Exmouth, drop them off and then park up for the night slash make our way up a little bit then park up for the night and then first thing in the morning drive back up to Skemmersdale again pick up another two and bring them back down to the Exmouth area as well we're probably going to run out of, well we are going to run out of driving time so I don't know whether we're going to get back what day is it today? it's Tuesday today I don't know whether we'll be, get, be able to get back tomorrow Wednesday or whether it'll be like Thursday morning slash afternoon we'll have to wait and see um, I don't know yet if I'm having like minimum rest nine hours. I've had a, I've had a minimum nine hour rest between my last shift because I, I finished at six o'clock last night and I was back in the yard at half past three. So that's nine and nine and a half hours rest, which uh, classifies as a as a reduced rest because you need more than eleven hours for a normal rest. So I've only got two more reduced rests to use for the week. So if I do one tomorrow, or tonight, sorry, and then one tomorrow night, then Friday, I'm gonna to have to have 11 hour rest. So if I don't finish until say five o'clock, I can't start the next day until four. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're currently going through Cricklade High Street, which is really nice and quiet. But that's obviously something to do with the timing. <laughs> uh, as for the route, we've got to go down Birdlip Hill, onto the M5, onto the M6, all the way up and then a couple of other motorways that I'm not familiar with once we get up there. But uh, right now we've got 162 miles to go, three hours and six minutes of driving, but it's four o'clock in the morning right now and ETA there is seven o'clock, just after seven o'clock. So um, the place don't open up until eight o'clock. I'm hoping I can get a 45 minute break in before they open and then I can get loaded and then crack on back down south and uh, I'll probably have to stop for another 45 on the way down but uh, yeah that's that's the plan so I'll see you guys when it's a little bit lighter out because I know you can't see me and I apologize for that although it's probably probably best if you can't see me <laughs> anyway I'll see you when it's a little bit lighter see you in a bit right we've just uh, we're just going through all the road works on the M5 we got to do 30 miles an hour, which is uh, <laughs> it's quite quite slow, especially when you've been doing like 56 miles an hour for you know well over an hour. To suddenly have to do 30, it just feels like you're going too slow. Do you know what I mean? 
Never mind. Uh, time now is nearly half past five. We've been uh, we've been driving for an hour and a half so far, and we've still got an hour and forty minutes left to go. So we're not even halfway there yet. So let's crack on. Road work now finished. Start speeding up, and I'll see you in a little while. So the sun has finally come out, it's to my right hand side now. It's uh, 20 past six in the morning currently. So we've been driving for nearly two and a half hours and um, we're about 50 minutes away still. So we've still got to do a bit more driving. But at least it's daylight now. I'll be taking these glasses off soon. I, um, I don't need glasses to drive, but I do find having, I find wearing the glasses when it's dark out particularly handy to see a little bit better <laughs> but um yeah i don't it's not a legal requirement to drive with these glasses on so they'll be coming off soon and i'll be swapping them for the specs for the shades if that sun gets much brighter eta is uh 11 minutes past seven so i'm still hoping to get a 45 minute break in before they open up at eight o'clock um but you never know i might only be able to get 15 in and then they turn up early and want to load me early you never know um but I might just stay in. But looking at Google Maps, there's somewhere for me to park, I think. So I might just stay there until uh, until I get 45 in and then go and see them. At least then I've definitely got a 45 in. Or at least maybe I'll go, I'll go see them first, tell them I'm there, but tell them I, I want to get a break in first. Yeah. And then we've got to find out how far away it is to get back down because I think it's going to be more than four and a half hours. I'm, I'm like 90% sure it's going to be more than four and a half hour drive which means I need another 45 on the way back down. But I just don't know how much over four and a half hours it's going to be. Ideally, I'd get down, deliver, and start making my way back up again. Because first thing tomorrow morning, I've got to come all the way back up. It's going to be a good five hour drive tomorrow morning as well before I even get back up here, I expect. But we'll see. Let's keep driving. Two and a half hours on the clock. Another 48 minutes to go. See you when we get there. Scalmersdale, half about well, one third of a mile. That's where we're going. And we are literally a mile and a half away from where we need to be. We just need to come off here, go round the roundabout, bare left, and, uh, and we'll be there. We're looking for a place called Stack Right. So let's indicate to come off. Shades are on now, as you can see. The sun is well and truly out. It's um, a little after seven o'clock. It's just gone five past seven. And um, yes, yeah, so we're not doing too bad for time. That car wants to overtake me. I will start indicating to say I want to turn right because I do. You never know these roundabouts whether the left lane goes all the way round or not. Some do, some don't. But I'm indicating, keeping an eye on my mirror anyway. All looking good. There's like zero markings on the road to tell you what lane you need to be in to go right. Some some say stay on the left, some say stay on the right. Okie dokie. Someone said the Scalmerdale is, uh, Scalmer is apparently full of roundabouts. Um, but I've only got a Grover a couple. <laughs> that one there, off the motorway. This one here, turn left, and then we're pretty much here. It's literally all motorway, all the way. So it's easy enough drive, it's just um, long hours on the road. Currently done three hours and 14 minutes driving. Straight. It's gonna be a hell of a lot longer to get back. I know that. Plus second roundabout, got a third roundabout here, and then one more roundabout. 
So yeah, there's quite a few roundabouts actually in a short amount of time. I'm looking forward to getting out of the cab and stretching my legs, not gonna lie. Get around here. Go around there. Right. Oh. Stack right. Where are you? Let's go left here. I take it they're famous people on there, are they? I don't know any of them. No, I've never looked. No, I don't recognise any of them. Stack right, straight on. Pretty sure I saw somewhere on the right where I could park. Pretty much where he is. Hmm, the gates look open where I gotta go. park over here for a little bit on the path hopefully people can get past me still it does say all delivery and collection drivers must report to the stores so that's what we're going to do first but it looks like we've got to go straight down there anyway we're here oh let's get a break in and uh, let's go stretch our legs right so we're out here we uh are just <laughs> Before I, before I left the yard yesterday, my boss was like, make sure you got enough straps. I was like, yeah, I'll take, I'll take my ba uh, big big case of straps with me just in case I had in my car. I just checked the side lock and I had like five straps. So luckily I bought my big box of straps that I was carrying around in my car for the last few months. So now I've got something like 20 straps, 25 straps. So I've got plenty. At most, I think I need six for the two containers. So I'll have three on each one. Uh, so yeah, at least I've got plenty of straps. So I just spent a little bit of time just organizing it out a little bit. I went and spoke to the guys, told them I'm here. It says um, all delivery drivers report to the store. But um, I went to the store and he said that I have to wait until, I don't know if you can quite see, but that building there. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna stay. That building there, it's got shutters. And um, he said, when the shutters are open, go and speak to them. They said they should be open about half seven, quarter to eight. So I said, that's all right, no worries, I'll get a break in. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing, I'm getting a break in. There's uh, a few people coming in. I'm still not 100% sure where it is I've got to go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to drive straight down there, but we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. So I'm just uh, just parked up here, look. Just waiting to be let in. Don't know how long I'm going to be here for. They said half seven, quarter to eight, but you never know. That could could mean I have to wait till nine o'clock, maybe even half nine. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Ah, it's just nice to get out and stretch your legs after being stuck in the cab for three hours, for three and a half hours nearly. So, um, yeah. I could do going to the toilet, so actually I'm going to go in ask them if I can buy their toilet facilities. Dying for a number one. So I know the uh, camera angle isn't the greatest right now, but hopefully you can see something. I've got a microphone on over here, so uh, you guys can hear me. What I'm doing right now is just making sure this is put on nice and straight. With uh, not much of an overhang on either side. Needs 
to go over. Just over a bit more, bud. About that much more, if possible. Not entirely sure what the problem is. We can't seem to get it off. Your fork on the right hand side is under. Do that again now. This is quite cool though, isn't it? You can hear me from over here. Something different. Waving along. Just apologies that you're slightly slanted. You were straight, but you're not tied on very tight. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I do. So, just gonna get this second container on now, and then we'll uh, strap it up. Like I said, I know you can't see me, but at least you've got a little bit of commentary. Got two green ones going on. Could be an ever so slight overhang on the trailer. We'll see in a sec. See me now. Ever so slight overhang, there's quite a bit of an overhang. At first glance, about a metre. No, not too bad now, he's budged over a little bit. There is, a, there is an overhang there. Oh. 
How are you doing, kid? You all right? Yeah, not bad, mate. You? Not too bad. What all this company are you with? Uh, I work for JK, but this is on behalf of transport. I was going to say, yeah. It's everything last yeah. week. Do you want me to put down Yeah, I better add, mate. It's going back to them. I mean, it's just, it's nothing. I'll be here tomorrow as well. What, you coming for tomorrow? Two more? Two more tomorrow. Should be here for about seven or eight. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm, I'm okay to strap up here, am I? Yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, that's that done. We've got paperwork. We've got keys. What we need to do now is strap up and also need to put a lot of this tape, red and white tape on it. So, give me a moment to strap up and then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've done. Right, so I've now got the containers on. Uh, I've never done this before, so I don't know if I've done it completely right, but basically what I've done is I've put some red and white tape going all the way down the side, because we are ever so slightly wide. And uh, we've also got an ever so slight overhang as well. So I've put some extra tape, red and white tape on the back as well. So, Hopefully that's going to be fine. And of course we've got tape running all the way down the left hand side as well. As for straps, I was told two would be enough on each one, but I decided to put three on each one. So we've got six straps all in all. So yeah, it's time to get on because it's late in the day. We got here at seven o'clock. I've got a funny feeling it's gone nine o'clock now half past nine so let's get a move on right let's get out of here better put down our middle wheel I'm just gonna close my window to a sec because it's very friggin dusty Okay, we should be able to open this up now. There we go. Hopefully, <laughs> I mean it shouldn't fall off, we've got three straps on. Um, and we're not that wide, and most of the ways motorway away anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, I'm out, I know that. Um, how do I get out of here? I'll go left. One of those things where you don't want to be meeting oncoming vehicles. The sun's gone down now as well. It was sunny when we got here. There's a lovely smell of aerosol, like paint. Yeah. Oh, they're actually building them. They're actually making them. Has he actually seen me? I don't know if he's actually seen me or not. I'm assuming he's gonna let me pass. Cheers mate. Good to go. Forklifter, get out of my way. We've got four hours and 26 minutes according to my sat nav to get there. Uh, I've done five minutes of driving because we had a break before we come in. So we've done five minutes driving just getting in. 
and doing our bits. And uh, so there's <laughs> there's a very good chance. Oh, I don't can't get around here. There's a very, very, very good chance that I will have to have a break because I run out of driving time and I only need to do like another five minutes or so. Let's just get out of here first. All right, fucking hell. Thought that bloke was gonna walk then, right <laughs> next to the truck. I assume this is the way out. This is the way I come in and I'm pretty sure the stuff I read said one way system, as in, Oh no, sorry, two ways, sorry. But you go when you're around there, it's a one-way system. You might say something about checking out as well. Let me just uh just gonna run and tell the stores that I'm going. Bear with. Done. I just said, uh, just let you know I'm going. Mate, your boy in the office just told me to let you know when I'm going. And he, uh, <laughs> he said, just go, mate. Don't worry about it. So that's what we're doing. Just going. Whew. Hazards off. Uh, and we're off. 232 miles to go. ETA there is 2 o'clock. Like I said, I probably will need to get a break in. We'll see if we can make up any time on the way. But it could be like anywhere between half past 2 and 3 o'clock before we even get there. And then I'll have to see how much drive time i got left. Uh, I might. Ideally, I want to try making my way back up. So I've got less of a drive to do tomorrow. If I can get up here tomorrow in one run without having a break, that'd be ideal. So, ideally I want to get at least 45 minutes back up, if that makes sense. Oh dear. Anyway, that's done. Let's crack on. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hopefully the sun's come out. We'll see. See you in a bit. Right, are you join me three hours and 45 minutes later? So nearly four hours after. Yeah, that's all me. I am now back. And I'm pulling in for a break. Because we've only got 45 more minutes of drive time left. And we're an hour away still. So we uh, we definitely need to get a break in. So I'm going to try and... Well, we're going to get half an hour in here. Now, I only need half an hour because um, I had a whole 45 this morning while I was waiting to get in. And then while I was in... I was in there for quite a while. I was in there for two hours in total. And um, for a good sort of, for a good another 45 minutes, I was doing nothing. Uh, Driving through the cars. We want to be parked here. Um, where do we park then? This is a one way system, mate. Look at that parking. Nice. So um, I was doing nothing for a good half an hour. I am going to take up two baits because I am slightly wide. Not me personally. Before the fat jokes come. Yeah, um, I was there. I was there for a good um, 45 minutes doing nothing at all. So um, it was on other work for quite a while. And then I was like, well, I could do with getting at least another 15 in, so I can only get half an hour in later to save time. So that's what I did. I, I had um, 15 minutes earlier before I got loaded and then when the person come back over again I took it off the brake and got out and started working basically like watching him put it all on and strapping it all up and stuff like that. So I had a good half an hour, well I, had, I did, I had half an hour break then um, but Taco will state that you can't have half an hour then 15, if you have half an hour to begin with you've got to have another half an hour after as well. So. Um, 
we are now basically here. We've got to have another half an hour break. That's what we are doing now. I am, um, yeah, I've taken up both lanes because I am slightly wide and I've also got a slight overhang. So when coming out of here, the overhang is going to catch a lorry on the left. So that's why I've taken up both lanes. If anyone says anything, but they're not particularly long or wide bays. Though. Look at that black lorry in front. Can you see the trailer? Yeah, you can. His trailer though is like well over the line. It's, 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 it's as if these bays aren't designed for lorries. I suppose maybe class two lorries. But never mind. So yeah, let's have a break. I'm gonna get out and have a walk, uh, and then before we drive off, we just double check that everything's strapped down and it's not loose and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll uh, let's go for a walk and I'll see you in a bit. Right, we uh, been to the toilet. We've had a a wee wee. We've made sure the straps are tightened up. Uh, and literally two straps just one more click up that's all it was so they're all nice and tight uh we're good to go so let's crack on make sure we don't hit any lorries on the way out because we do have a bit of a overhang which is why i parked weirdly i was getting some looks from people because i parked over two two bays just protect myself. I wouldn't have parked like that if I was staying there for the whole night. I was only there for half an hour. M6 is the right hand side lane. We want to go out via the M6. All clear. Uh, not M6, M5. What am I talking about? Uh, right, so we're on our way out now. We, um, I might have a little bit of an issue. Uh, well, it's not an issue, it's just ideally I wanted to try and make it back here. Not necessarily here where I am, but the other side of the roundabout. There's a company I used to deliver to all the time when I was on the containers called, um, it's like Ro Roadie Roads or something like that. Um, but basically it's the Roy Royal Portbury Docks. And I was aiming to get back here and park over there so then I can get free parking. For tonight but i don't think i'm gonna have enough time to get back here unless i go into a 10 hour drive so i need to contemplate um how many hours i'm going to do driving wise because i can only do t two 10 hour drives that's the problem so i might end up doing a 10 hour drive today a 10 hour drive tomorrow and then a nine hour drive thursday and then oh yeah because i haven't said yet i've now got to do three deliveries i might have said i can't remember it's been such a long day i can't remember what i've said i've got to do three deliveries now so i've got about to go up then down then up then down then up then down so basically the third delivery i might not actually make on the same day as pickup i might get here for example thursday and then deliver friday morning and then go back to the yard the other alternative is delivering it thursday and then going back to the yard friday morning um, either way, we're going back to the yard Friday, so we're staying out for the rest of the week. It's just a case of when that last delivery is made. Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. So, I'm, basically, I, got, I had one hour and 56 minutes of drive time left before I go into a 10 hour drive. So, I've got to be parked up before I go into one hour 56. We're still an hour and three minutes away, which means by the time I move around and stuff and get back out, I'm gonna have like 45 minutes drive time left. Um, so it's either pay for services or try and get here and park where I just suggested. We will see. <laughs> we will see. Anyway, it's an hour to go before we get to where we got a deliver to, so I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. Okie dokie, one more hour later and we are just around the corner now from where we need to be. Now I don't, I'm not 100% sure who I'm actually delivering it to, and I know that sounds dodgy, but the paperwork, um, it just says Well End Plan or so, uh, Well End Depot or something like that, which is where we are. Will End, Will End, yeah. Just says Will End Depot. Um, so <laughs> I'm not entirely sure who I'm delivering to. 
paperwork says Pickerins. So I'm assuming it's a company called Pickerins and I'm assuming they're gonna be on this um, area that I'm delivering to. Um, and a separate piece of paper says Unit 14 with the same postcode but with a different street address. So <laughs> this could be fun. Basically, I'm hoping Unit 14 says Pickerins. If, it's, if it says Pickerins, Unit 14, then that's good. Otherwise, I might just go to Unit 14 anyway and see if they know anything about it. And if that fails, then I need to make a phone call and find out a little bit more information. But, uh, we've just got to do a, a right-hand turn at this roundabout coming up in a mile. Still not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm, I'm, it's looking more and more likely that I will try and drive back to Bristol and try and stay at the Royal Portbury Docks in that sort of area because then hopefully tomorrow morning I can drive straight up to um, basically to that Liverpool area without having to have a break. Should be about three and a half hour drive. So that's the plan anyway and I want to get there by half seven, the latest. So what, what's that? Half seven, six, five, so I'll be, I'll be leaving at half past four in the morning. That's only assuming I'm three and a half hours away. If I'm any further away, I've got to start earlier. Also need to uh, take, keep an eye on what time I finish today as to whether or not um, I use a, a nine hour rest or an 11 hour rest. Could be 11 hours, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, anyway, this is the roundabout in question. There's a lane down there which uh, the map did send me, but that looks way too narrow for me. But there's a, an industrial estate here. Hoping unit A4 is the one I need. Ah, there's a Pickerins building there on the left. So that's where I'm going. Yeah, it looks good. There's port cabin zone, everything. That's where I am going. Looks like loads of space as well. But there's also a gate which is shut. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is looking good. It looks like I'm gonna be in and out. There's a guy there on a forklift already. Lovely jubbly. Right, back in a bit. Right, that was easier than I expected it to be. Which is good. Don't know exactly how long we were here for, but uh, it's 20 past three now. I can't remember what time I got here. I've only been here like 20 minutes. Well, it's gonna be tight to get out. Yeah, should be all right. Looks like a, a nice new site where they're just waiting for all the boxes to turn up, all the cabins. And uh, I'm bringing six of them down. Obviously, I've got to go back up now and get two more, but I'm not going to get up there tonight. That's going to be uh, get up there for first thing tomorrow morning, that is, and then come back down again. So, yeah, uh, I've decided I am going to go into a 10 hour drive. They splashed me. I am going to go into a 10 hour drive just to get back to where I was, because that's an hour and seven minutes away now. And then, fingers crossed, from there, I can get up to that Liverpool area, Scalmersdale, uh, before I run out of driving time. Hopefully I get up there, have a break while I'm there, and then drive back down again, stop halfway down like I did today, and do the same again tomorrow night. Stay where well, I'm going to stay tomorrow night. I'm going to wait to stay there tomorrow night as well. And then the last shift, if I do get it delivered on the Thursday, I'll probably just stay down here and then drive back to the yard Friday morning, but we'll see. Priority at the moment is to try and find somewhere to sleep now. Uh, we're gonna be there for about half past four, so hopefully it won't be busy. Most uh, most places where you can park normally get busy after five o'clock. So fingers crossed when we get there, it's nice and quiet, and that we can park there. And worst case scenario, if we can't park there, then we're just gonna have to go opposite and park in the services. 
Worst case scenario, if we can't park there, then we're just going to have to go further on up and park at the next services, which I believe is Gloucester. We should have enough time. Uh, I can do two, two hours and 56. We're on one hour and eight now. So say that was one hour six. That's two hours six. We've got one hour 50, and then say you take away the ticket. Just to be safe, an hour and 45 minutes we've got. So if, if we can't park where I want to park, we should have at least half an hour left to go find somewhere else. So fingers crossed we'll be all right. <laughs> I know it's complicated, but that's what you have to do. So yeah, let's crack on. Back on the motorway. And uh, I'll see you when, we've, uh, when we're about to find somewhere to park up for night. The time has come for us to park up. We're just about to come off at this junction here. We've been driving for about an hour, so not too much. It's 25 past four right now. Hopefully, we are going to be able to find a parking space. We we might even not be allowed to park here. So we're going to have to wait and see. But fingers crossed we can. And, uh, I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to turn around immediately or not. I I would rather turn around and be facing the right way, ready for the morning. If the road's too busy. I've got to basically turn around at a junction reverse into a junction and then drive back out but if the road's busy then obviously I'm not going to be able to do it so we'll have to wait and see we want Z Ducks Z Ducks Z Ducks Z Ducks yeah I've never actually been in the docks I just delivered to a company around here so that's how I know in fact actually one of my videos I uploaded someone come off their motorbike I don't know if you will remember that. The next roundabout, they come off the, round, off the roundabout on the bike. See, there's no lines on this road here, so you could, in theory, park here. But I think this road is quite busy, so I wouldn't. Don't really want to do, do that. That's a bit of a bump. I'd rather go down one of these roads. Portbury West. We're going second exit. And we need to see whether there's any signs that say do not park. Right. I'm thinking somewhere on the left. Here. Yeah, there's no lines or anything, so I can park here. And I used to deliver to a place there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, turn around, and then head back and park here. Loads of parking space, look. Nice. That lorry wants to come out. Maybe not. Flashed him twice. Oh, what he's doing. I could turn around here, but the uh, the next one looks a bit wider. Yeah. So we're going to reverse into here while it's quiet. Blindsided it as well. Lovely bit of blindsided and reversing, if I do say so myself. Hazards off, indicate right, let's go. I don't mean to be big headed, but I think I made that look quite easy. <laughs> right, so we're going to head down here now. Um, but I don't want to get blocked in. But I also don't want to park right next to a junction where there's going to be other vehicles turning around. So, we're going to park in front of the one at the front, I think. Because it's kind of like away from the junction.
There's a gate there, but it's only a little gate, so only cars will be going in and out of it. If I park here, look, I mean, nice bit of shade as well. And vehicles should be able to get in that junction there. What's that noise? Oh, there's a, there is a plant there. So that could be noisy during the night. Um, that plant could be operating all night, so that could be quite loud. No entry, so that's exit only there. I don't really want to... Ah, that lorry that I wanted to park in front of is just going past me now. So I'm going to go where he was. Put my hazards on. We're going to reverse back. Ah, some workers there, that's all. So maybe they'll go home later on. Right, now we're away from the noise. There's a room behind me for a lorry to get in between me and the one behind that. We are done. Yeah, I think this will do. Good morning, everybody. It is now Friday. Uh, the last time you saw me was Tuesday. Just let that lorry go past. Yeah, it was Tuesday evening, to be precise, the last time you saw me. It is now Friday morning. Since you last saw me, by the way, yeah, you can see me now, I'm at the back of the truck just doing some daily checks. Uh, since you last saw me, so basically what we did on Tuesday, when I vlogged, is we went up to Liverpool, down to Exmouth. Wednesday we went back up to Liverpool, and then back down to Exmouth again. And uh, yesterday, Thursday, we went back up to Liverpool. And we only made it back down to Bristol again. We couldn't actually deliver it on the same day because the first two days we used 10 hours drive and um, I used nine hours drive yesterday and I'm still an hour away from where I need to be. So what we need to do this morning is drop it off. Uh, and then with a bit of luck, we go home because <laughs> I've not actually been home since Tuesday. But uh, just done the daily checks, everything looks good. I do like the fact I can do this and talk to you guys on the camera there, yet you can still perfectly hear me. But yeah, no, everything, uh, everything seems to be good with the checks. Only problem is we've woken up a little bit early. Uh, last night I went to bed about, about, I don't know, like quarter to seven or something. I put a post up on my Facebook page saying, night everyone. Uh, I didn't need to be up this morning until maybe six o'clock. I struggled getting out. Uh, I struggled to stay asleep. And it's half past five now. I've been up for like 45 minutes already. So we don't need to leave until half past six. And it's half past five. So we're an hour early waking up pretty much. But it's okay. We've got the checks done. Just need to write it all down in the paperwork now that we've done all the checks. Tacos in. And what we'll probably do is just drive on there early and then get a 45 minute break in while we're there before they open up. That's the plan anyway. Anyway, let's get moving. Let's get you in the cab and then we can get going. This lorry's decided to park right in front of me. No one's happy with him parking on the corner like that. He's putting his hand up. I want to get it going. I can't go back because there's a truck behind me. So I'm going to have to try and get out like this. There's a lorry coming down the left. Car coming down there now. Thing is, as soon as I poke my nose out and turn left, I can't see behind me. I 
come on. It's quite a busy road, this. I'm going to have to start being aggressive in a sec. This isn't all primarily because of him. I would have struggled to get out anyway. You're gonna have to go back, mate. Just sit there. <laughs> I'm a relatively wide load, he just sits there thinking, oh, you can get past me. No, mate, move. Right, we are off. Um, as I said earlier, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing today. We've got to obviously drop this off uh, this morning. And then, I think, with a bit of luck, we'll be going straight back to the yard. But the boss did say call him on the way. So, he might have a last minute job for me to do today or something. Who knows? Fuel is very low though, I know that. We, um, we filled up with fuel Tuesday. We've got two tanks, a 450 litre and 150 litre tank. So we've got 600 litres in total. And um, on the way back down yesterday, it was kind of hovering above zero. <coughs> so we popped, I popped into the garage to go put some fuel in. I managed to put six, how much was it? 51 or 61, something like that. 50, 60 quid in. And the um, they ran out of fuel. I was like, oh, great. Thanks for that. So, what I've done is um, I've just left it since then. I've not put any more in because it, it's kind of above the zero now. So I know I can get to my destination, but I might need to put some more fuel in on the way back up. But we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, it's a bit slippery out today. M5. We got a car who's trying to get down the left hand side of me. I think he's realised that I am slightly wider than the average truck right now. I'm not like massively wide. I don't want anyone saying, oh that's not nothing, that's not an overhang, that's not wide. But I do have an overhang and I am 10 feet wide. You know, there's a good sort of 30 centimetres either side of my truck, pretty much. 20, 20, 25 centimetres either side of the truck. I followed that lane all the way around and uh, I had to change lanes on a roundabout. Alrighty then. So we are one hour four minutes away from where we need to be. The ETA there is ten to seven. When I spoke to them Wednesday, we told them I'd be delivering it Friday morning because I knew I was going to run out of driving time. Uh, and they said, yeah, no problem. Uh, we'd be there for about half seven. So it's going to be a good forty-minute wait. So I might get a forty-five minute break in. We will have to see. That's my dash saying I need fuel. <laughs> fuel light is on, but we're above zero, so it's all good. I reckon we got well over 100 litres in the tank still. Well over 100 litres. So that should be enough to get me there and back to, and back to where we do get fuel. Fingers crossed. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, uh, see you when we get there. Right. We're just around the corner now from where we need to be. Oh, I've had plenty of sleep, but I just, you know, when you have like too much sleep, I think that's what I've done. I've had too much sleep. Um, I'm pretty sure as well, when we left, it was lighter than this. Um, that's because the sun rise from the, it rises from the east, doesn't it? And we're, we've headed west. So it's like we're, we're moving away from the sun. The sun's behind us. And um, yeah, it, it definitely got slightly darker. 
because it was quite sunny back there where I needed to wear sunglasses just as I was leaving and now I don't even need to wear sunglasses so yes we're heading west it's getting darker <laughs> uh, fuel situation is not looking good I think we're gonna have to get some fuel on the way back I was gonna get some fuel at the services Taunton Dean services um, and just as I was going past the services, I forgot. I was like, oh, should have pulled in there. Uh, so we're going to have to get fuel on the way back. We're like literally on the zero. <laughs> but it should be okay. I've, I've driven trucks before when the dial's on zero and they got gallons left in them still. So fingers crossed we'll definitely make it back to the services. Put another 120 quid in. And that'll give us, definitely give us enough to get back to the yard where we can fill it right up and put like 600 litres in which is like a thousand pounds worth of fuel pretty much yeah so I don't know whether anyone's actually going to be here or not I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to park <sighs> ideally I'd like to park outside the gate so when they get here they can open it and I just let just let me in but at the same time I think that's kind of like being a bit of a bully, pushing pushing in, do you know what I mean? So I might just park up on the side of the road just before the gate. Might do. Oh, also, um, I don't normally do shout outs, but seeing as I saw you yesterday, so shout, shout out to Ben. Um, where we're going now, I actually stayed here, not last night, the night before that. And um, he, he works somewhere around here, so he just happened to pass me and saw me. I also saw my truck first as well, him and his brother. So um, yeah, shout, shout out to you, Ben. Thought that um, sweeper was on its way out then, but it's not. That's good. Pub. So I could have went to the pub when I stayed here the other night, but I'm not that sort of person. I don't drink at like the best of times, let alone on a night out. Do, 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 do. And there uh, is trucks outside already waiting. I think we're going to have to stop here because there's trucks already outside and now I haven't got a lot of space to park. Oh, he's moving forward. I'll park where he was then. Yeah, um, the other night I parked here, just where that truck is, but on the other side. Excellent, they don't take long to unload anyway. It's like two two tips. So we'll just stay here for a little bit. Wait for Matey Boy to come along. And open the gates and then just go on in. Just go on in. Right, see you in a bit. I'm not entirely sure if you're gonna be able to see much where you are. I just broke my uh mountain it is on it's like got three legs now it's only got two i might try moving you in a sec i'm just around the other side of the truck coming around now with some ratchet straps just rolling them back up hello uh, What I should be able to do actually is uh, put you on the trailer. One of these legs keep falling out, which is not ideal. There you go, yeah, you should be able to see that. That's quite a good camera angle.
still not sure what it is we're doing later on today, whether I'm going straight home or not. What time is it? It's eight o'clock now. It takes over two hours to get back. Plus I need to get fuel twice. Once at services and once at our proper place. So, probably looking at 11 o'clock in the yard. I need to wash the truck as well, so. Looking at 12 o'clock finish. If I go straight back. That GoPro could be quite sturdy where it is actually. I might be able to drive off with it there. Might be a bit a bit jumpy though, wobbly. Oh god, nearly dropped the straps on. Alright, that's the straps put away. All we're waiting on now then is just for this to be unloaded. Hello again. Yeah, we're just waiting for this to be unloaded. And then we should be able to crack on. The, um, we followed a lorry driver in. He just got loaded down the bottom, unloaded down the bottom. And he's uh, waiting to get out the gate. So he's just come and stole my person to undo the gate. What's that? There are no lids, are they? I can't see in the gents ones because they're all locked and I can't get over the top. The door keeps shut. Keep going. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the door for you? Or? I haven't even seen inside one of these. Oh, it's a Is it? Like everything the normal ones, huh? I got it. Yeah, they got lids. That's fucking Which one don't have lids? The one on that side. Was that women's, is it? Or? Perhaps I think extra thoughts stink. <laughs> And they're black and they're, that's white. I'll look in the other one and see what that one's like. Yeah. I think these are brand new, aren't they? Yeah. Don't mean people don't make mistakes. <laughs> I've gone in here the other day, it's damaged. Was it? Stuff I don't know um, what you heard, but basically these these uh, cabins have got, I just had a look at them, they've got like three or four cubicles in one door, a shower in another door, and then also there's like a disabled toilet as well. The disabled toilet didn't have a lid on it, it had a cover, you know, the round bit with the hole in, but it didn't actually have a lid. So he's worried about whether it's supposed to have a lid or not, and also there were different colours. So he wants to check this one when it comes down. Which is fair enough. Right, we're done. We are unloaded and I get the feeling I've done something, I've forgotten something or something like that, but I can't place my head on it. My finger on it rather, not my head. So um never mind. We're, um, we're gonna go get some fuel now because we are running, like I said, really low. 
So we're going to go put 129 pounds worth of fuel in because I put 71 in yesterday, and boss said put 200 in, so 100, 129 plus 71, 200 quid. So that's what we're going to do. And then once we filled up, phone my boss, tell him I'm done. And I'm heading back to the yard. ETA back to um, ETA back to where we get our fuel. It's going to be about quarter to eleven. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be gone eleven o'clock by the time I get back to the yard. So it's not going to be mega mega early. I didn't want to get back too early. I was definitely going to have to have something to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. Hopefully it'll be okay. My boss did say yesterday actually that um, he goes, "Oh, you're off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, aren't you?" He was like, "Yeah, I, was like, I am. I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week." He goes, oh, shame, I've got, I've got some more work on. So I've got a funny feeling that when I come back Thursday, I could be doing another run, I'm not sure. I could probably get two runs done, but it would be pushing getting back, that's all. I might run out of drive time before I get back, which means coming back on Saturday. Which I don't think I can do, because I've got a race meeting. Never mind. Anyway, uh, <laughs> just trying to think to myself there quietly. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I think it's been quite long, but hopefully you've enjoyed the new uh, the new stuff I've been doing t today and for the last few days. Hopefully you've enjoyed some nice, cool camera angles. Like I said, it's, it's camera angles and stuff that I've always liked to do, and it's stuff that I can't do when I'm doing the bags because I've been told I'm not allowed to film on sites. Um, whereas doing this, I'm working for somebody else, I can feel one size until I'm told not to. <laughs> but yeah, never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to check out my new uh, gaming channel that I got up. It's called uh, Luke C. And you can uh, find the link in the description down below. It's youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Luke Cuss. And there is basically gameplay um, on there of me playing games. Uh, I'm thinking about playing some American Truck Simulator later on today, actually, and uploading over the weekend. So um, yeah. Go check my gaming channel out if you want to see me play in Euro Truck Simulator and, well, more specifically, American Truck Simulator. i got both, but I drive an MAN. I don't want to be driving one in the truck on the game as well. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Drive safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.